So good afternoon. Um, I'll be presenting about uh, the snake species identification challenge. So every year there are about 500,000 snake bite uh, victims uh, globally, and uh, this is mostly prevalent in the poor and uh, rural uh, communities of uh, uh, developing nations. Um, so so the, the goal of the challenge uh, was to uh, accurately identify the snake species given an image because uh, this would uh, actually help in uh, uh, prescribing correct antivenoms. Uh, building an image classifier these days is relatively simple. Uh, what made the challenge interesting was that uh, uh, we were given 82,000 images. Uh, it was a highly imbalanced data set. Although there are around uh, 3,000 snake species, we were only given 45 uh, snake species, and it was highly imbalanced. Uh, one class had about 11,000 images, while the uh, lowest uh, class had about only 500 images. So all these uh, made it into an interesting challenge. Um, and uh, snakes are uh, very uh, uh, diverse with respect to their age, with respect to geography. Uh, snakes might look similar, but one might be harmless, and another might be uh, uh, poisonous. So the model has to learn uh, these uh, characteristics uh, to um, actually get a good uh, score. So uh, building uh, um, pretty famous architectures like ResNet or DenseNet would give you about 0.69 to 0.75 uh, F1 score. So F1 score was the uh, metric with which the challenge was evaluated. So we had to carefully balance both the precision and the recall for every species to get a good score. Um, so this challenge took place in June, July. Uh, back in uh, May 2019, uh, Google AI came out with a paper called EfficientNet, where uh, they showed how to balance the width, uh, uh, width, image resolution, depth of the architecture. Uh, um, so I used an architecture called B5. They released uh, checkpoints which were pre-trained on image nets. Uh, the challenge uh, was uh, uh, pretty easy because uh, um, um, it was actually pre-trained. Pre-training um, on ImageNet. ImageNet had few snake species, uh, so uh, we were actually able to get good scores. Um, I was able to get about 0 0.881 using uh, B5 architecture. Um, so I added a pre-processing pipeline where uh, so there was only one snake species given an image, but the snakes were all over the place. Um, so I added an um, pre-processing pipeline where uh, we would actually uh, uh, predict the bounding boxes of where the snake box, where the snake was, and we would actually crop the image. And uh, augmentation made much sense to this data set. Uh, so I also added an augmentation of rotation. Um, I was able to get a score of about 0.861. So do you have any questions? Thanks for the uh, snake species organizers and. Uh, the team at AI Crowd for hosting this challenge.